Hello folks, Mokdwari here and welcome back to my Soul Mask series and yeah, last time we moved to this new spot setup, a little base here and I think today it's time to start preparing for uh, a few things. So what we need is actually to get some good armor for trolls, get good um, weapons for trolls and I think we need to check some of our progress as well. So if I go to the Y uh, menu then I see that my mask has gotten a few things i can upgrade a few things things i would like to get is this one here quality assessment because that will allow me to um, press and hold q when targeting things and see what they are so that's one i really want you can unlock that at uh, awareness level 15 and i'm now level 16 so let me check the others too uh, what is this one again this one is repair to identify enemies within 20 meters. Okay, quickly by sending an alert. Yeah, I kind of like that. So I will upgrade that one. I, I need level 20 for the next one. What is this? Repair to enhance the masks, perception, detection, distance. Yeah, I definitely like this one. And what are these? Habit analysis. I don't really have that. Can't unlock that yet. Then I will check this one, mask interface module, because this is the things which are specific to you, the mask you have chosen or the mask you are wearing. So my mask is now level 3, I should be able to get at least a few unlocks. Unique function, cons energy, energy consumption reduced a little bit. Uh, protection repair to increase the mask upgrade speed. Okay, perfect. And then I can unlock this one, repair to simulate the body through some unknown means which vastly boosts the stamina. So, more stamina, perfect. The rest I cannot do. Oh, I can do this one yet. Level 3. Repair to activate the sleep health system for the wearer to quickly enter deep sleep when sleeping during which morale recovery is plus 50. Yes, I will take that one. The rest I cannot unlock. Things I could also unlock is this row here which will increase the speed at which I gain um, knowledge about some weapons. So let's do that, uh, this one for sure. And then I'm currently using spare blade, maybe also shield. And as you can see on the on the tooltip, once repaired, it can be used to subconsciously during a fight when attacking with blades. Proficiency growth rate plus 25, so I will gain skill in this a lot faster. Then this uh, row here, this section is more related to everything regarding crafting. So I will unlock whatever I can. Faster knowledge gain for wood cutting. Faster knowledge gain for cooking. Faster knowledge gain for mining. And yeah, I, I can unlock all this because at the start of the game, maybe I should not do that actually. At the start of the game, I opened a few boxes and I got a lot of these crystals. Green crystals and blue crystals. Oh, I don't have that many left, so it's, it's fine. So I can unlock things. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's unlock everything I can. It's not my fault that the game decided to give me things. I think I can only do the level 1 for those. Oh, I can do level 2 as well. So let's do this one. It's almost done. For mining, the same thing. Cooking, as far as I can. Planting, I don't really need yet. Craftsmanship, sure. Alchemy, at some point I will need alchemy. Killing, I don't really need. Potting, why not? So yeah, I did everything I could. So now I'm set up for that. Next thing I can check is the knowledge, the technology related things. And here I can unlock some other things. So I have beast bone tools, which is nice. I might go for the beast bone armor and weapons next. The leather gear, sure. And then I want the armor, so the defensive gear the jewelry and the gloves for the offensive gear. I might want to unlock this too, so I get a saddle so I can use my alpaca as a mount. And the next ones are actually unlocked by, uh, well, you have a chance of unlocking those when uh, taming or deterring someone 
from a tribe. It always indicates which tribe or what you need to deter. For example, in order to get the Flint Tribe's everyday costume, you need to deter a Flint Tribe porter. And if you do, you get a chance at learning this skill or unlocking this skill, I should say. So what else do I need? I will probably need animal breeding. Yeah, because that allows me to have the water trough and the feeding trough. I will probably need traps to maybe trap a turkey at some point. Yes. And then food and a breeding farm. This section will allow me to uh, breed animals and for example get eggs and meat out of animals or leather and feathers which I will be needing at some point. I think I did everything here. Yeah, I didn't do... No, I didn't do all the stone weapons. Well, currently I probably want this. I probably want the bow, a blade and shield. And that's going to be it for now. What else do I need? Chests, yes, storage. Uh, points are getting low. Do I need a wind cat? Well, I don't really need it right now. This I might need. The uh, chance or the knowledge to make some specific foods. I can't really unlock that one. And then let's check here what we have left. Definitely need some beds and a dining table. And the outhouse as well. This is guard facilities. I don't really need this right away. Let's check this. A repair bench. Yeah, maybe. And then modifications. That's actually something you can use to modify your gear at, for example, bleeding and whatever to your weapons. And this is slaughtering. Yes, I'm getting low on points. Can I already unlock this one? No, I need level 20. Uh, crop planting. Yeah, let's go for that one. Crops and fertilizer. I'm out of points. Okay, so there are a few things I need to do now, which is first of all, uh, get myself the butcher's table. This one. And then get myself a tanning rack to make leather. This one. Then get myself some beds. Let's make three for now. Then also make myself some armor crafting table. For that I don't have enough planks. Okay, that's fine. And then a weapon crafting table. Ooh, I need... Wait, I need... Ah, I need bronze for that. I will not be able to do that, actually. And I haven't unlocked it anyway. Okay, okay, okay. But we can start with this. I need leather for this and thin rope. So let's check where uh, thin rope is made. Thin rope. It's not made in my pockets. The nice thing about this game is it's... You see here, other crafting table blueprints and it's flickering. So it found something for other crafting. Oh, I need the loom for this. Ah, crap. I might have done something wrong. This is probably the weaving thing, right? I have not unlocked that yet. Is that the next step? Wait, I should have a loom. Oh, then I need the loom as well. Okay. So, make myself a loom as well. At that, I need more planks, of course. Planks, yeah, and thatch. Okay, so I'm going to be gathering some materials, uh, make some more planks, and I will bring you guys back once I have all the things I need to uh, continue with this little build. Okay, I'm back. My uh, clans member has been doing a few things while she is still working on some chests, I believe. We have prepared some things. First things first, we need beds. 
we need the tanning rack and we need the butcher's table. So beds we need because if you look at the bottom of my screen in the center, you see that I'm getting tired, so I will have to sleep at some point. Now, where will I put the beds? Hmm. There isn't really all that much room to place beds currently. I think I'm going to be placing some here, actually. So put you on the number six. Place a bed here. Oh, maybe I can squeeze. Nah, I will not squeeze into. I will be changing this afterwards anyway. So a bed here. Maybe also a bed here. For now, that will do. And I need to sleep in order to recover my mood. That will take a while, but maybe I can speed this part up. And we can continue with the building once I'm uh, awake again. So I will be waking up any second now. See, it didn't take all that long. But now at least my th uh, dance member can sleep, can rest, and I can continue with the build. So what I will be doing is uh, up here I will probably be expanding. So right here I would like to have my uh, leather working and things. So I will be putting that on my hot bar and check how far I can go with it. So that's the... Okay, I will have to improvise a bit. You are the butcher stable and then number four is the tanning rack. Okay, and what I will be doing is actually getting some of those chests as well. I don't really need the doors anymore, nor do I need the bed, so put those away. Have some of these chests ready. There you go. What I like to do is have a chest next to my uh, uh, crafting station so they don't have to run all too far. These are still a little bit small, but as I mentioned, this is only temporary. So what I will be doing with this one, place it here, and then E, set it up so it only stores animal type things. Okay, that wasn't a goal. Ah, I picked that up. Maybe the box here is full. That's a problem. No, it's not this box. It's the box here. It's probably going to be full. Yeah. So that's why he cannot use anything anymore from there. You know what? I can do this. Six. Uh, no. Press. Long press E. And I have no option to upgrade. Wait. I thought I would have an option to upgrade, but it doesn't really matter. So this one is animal parts. Let's place another box somewhere here, maybe. Currently it will be in the way, but I don't mind it all that much. You can go here and you should be semi-finished products. Everything related to leather. So let's uncheck everything and then go through what we want. Uh, well, rope, yeah. Leather rope, rough leather, leather. And then there is more leather somewhere. Uh, tobacco, no chain mail, wooden strips, chain mail strips, hardwood metal, fine, uh, thick rope, thin rope, yes, thick leather, yes, premium thick leather, delicate thick leather, premium leather, delicate leather, tanning fluid, and the rest I think not for now. Okay, so. What can happen now? I can put someone at work on this bench and cut down, for example, make it uh, make some meat or make it make some beast hide or some bones or whatever. And in here, I can then make rough leather. And I already have uh, some beast hide for that. For the normal leather, I will need tanning fluid, which is this one, which I could make if I had water cans. So I will need to make a couple of water cans to make some tanning fluid. So let's say we make 999 of this first. Well, 99 or 200 to start with. Just a small amount. And then also add some leather to it. Let's say 100. And then add some rough leather. Also 100. And now I need to make water bags. So water. Oh, water bottle. Uh, to do, do, do beast hide I should have beast hide why why did he do that did I not set it up correctly all types are oh crap I couldn't change it because it's still in there 
set uh, beast animal things. There you go. So now I should be picking up all the animal things from here. And maybe set this one as plants then. No, not there. Set storage tapes type and go to plants. There you go. And then I can use this one to put the wood back in. And now I need water. So I'm still missing what? Thin rope. Uh, fiber and thin rope, I believe. Fiber and thick rope, okay. So fiber will be in the plant box. Here is fiber. fiber. Thick rope will be in the... This box. Yeah. So let's make about 10 of those water bottles. Fill them up with water. And then put them in the tanning rack and probably assign someone to that and then we can continue and appoint someone to take care of the tanning rack so he can make the necessary letters for later on because i think i need letters for uh, the armor crafting bench in order to make the armor crafting bench even You see, sometimes I'm making two now because I get higher proficiency. I have a chance of making more than one item in one craft. So I have now five, eleven. It's perfect. Let's go to the river. Press E, it will automatically fill all water bottles in my inventory. Go back inside, close the door. Yes, and then place it in the tanning rack. Okay, now appoint someone to the tanning rack. Apparently Blade Master is better at leather working, so let's give it to the Blade Master. Let's maybe check what Blade Master is doing. Work. Yeah, you should first of all man the crafting tables, then upkeep the bonfire. And if he has more time, he should be collecting gear, uh, materials in the area. Of course, he's too slow. What, what's your problem? What's your problem? You can't get in. He broke a lot of tools, actually. I can dismantle those, that's no problem. V, 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 V to dismantle those. I will get some materials back, not a lot, but at least it's something. So, uh, let's go to this box again, drop off everything I do not need. Uh, there is a wood in here, I don't need it. The beast material, let's put it in here, where it's supposed to go. And then I only have a fiber, which is plants. And stone which is up here and then some food and some medicines I believe food in here medicine in here you can actually set up a system where you drop everything off into one box and then have your thrall pick it up and drop it off in another box if you want to you could do that so you could set up a system where you have a general box where you drop everything in which you want and then have all your tra trolls transported to the boxes where it should be so our little friend here is already making some tanning fuel uh, maybe not that much should be more than enough he will be gaining some uh, knowledge in leather working so i need to keep an eye on that once he reaches 30 i will be picking the option to uh, grant more outputs but for now, I think we will have to wait until he has made a few things. And the next step will be putting up the armor crafters bench, for which I don't really have much room left. But uh, we will be expanding soon. So yeah, let, uh, let us try that. Oh, you know what I should be doing probably is also have uh, the feeding trough going and also have the water trough going for my animals. And then check what I can do in here. Can I make... I can make something, premium fresh meat. 
Uh, I could get some fish, I could get corn and pumpkins, but that's all gonna be later on. Let me check one more thing before I take a short break. There is something food processing. Oh yeah, I thought so. There is also the cooking stove I need to make. So, let's queue that up. Cooking stove. There you go. Later on, I will need a, this one as well. And I will need the breeding farm. There you go. So you have everything you need. You have everything you need. You should get some more stone. Oh, I need a potting table too. Man, 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 this is gonna be... Why do I need a potting table? Because so here you can see I need a ceramic mold. I still have some. That's no problem, but later on, I can't add it anyway. So someone will uh, need to build something. So yeah, I will be bringing you guys back once they have uh, done whatever they are working on. Okay, as you can see, everyone is still hard at work, but some things have already been made. So let me check. Uh, we have the iron forging table, which we will need. We have the cooking stove, which we will need. We have the turkey coop and the breeding farm and the traps, which we don't really need now, but we will be using those to capture some turkeys, breed them, breed them in the turkey coop, well, breed them in the turkey coop. And that way we don't have to go uh, out and kill uh, turkeys all the time to get feathers and, and bird meat and stuff like that. And this I can set up outside for our little alpaca friends. So let's do that really quick and put up everything. Well, maybe I will be extending probably in this direction. So let's put this one like this. Number five. Oh, I need a feed. Oh, because it's in the water. The system thinks it's in the water. Okay, then I will place it here for now. I can always move it later on. And then this one is the feeding trough. Can I place it behind that? Yeah. So I should now be able to uh, put water in there, no? Did I do this again? Huh. Here I can put in the, the, the food which is on her. So this, if I put that in here, she will be eating from there. I need to figure out, I think I need a, a water bucket or something. Or maybe I need the, the breeding pen in order to make someone fill this up. I will check. It might get filled up by a uh, by the rain too so we will see so the other thing i still have in my pockets is uh, the cooking station which i will have to place somewhere and I'm, I'm starting to run out of room already so if i can place it somewhere up here then i will perfect cooking station done and then the last thing i have is the armor forging table which i will be putting up here for now so what I can do in here is actually make the armor, I believe. So beast hide pants and whatnot. I need, oh darn, I need linen for that. So I won't have to create linen. Okay, linen, 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 beast hide. Okay, the alpaca saddle, I need linen as well. This I can make is the rings. Let me check if they have rings. They are actually beast bone, stone, beast bone. So rings like these, but better. Okay, let's make some rings, uh, cue this up. 10. Why do I make 10? Well, because they will be skilling their armor crafting and I might be getting uh, some gray ones at first, but later on I will be getting some... Uh, uh, what was I about to say? Some uh, purple ones and some gold ones and maybe some epic ones. So this uh, basket is actually used to uh, transport livestock on your llama, which might be interesting. But I don't have llama yet. I have an alpaca. So I need an alpaca saddle. And then probably 10 for these as well, each. There. Now I should probably appoint someone to this. 
Blade Master seemed to be having the highest armor crafting, so let him do this. He will create that and probably drop it off in this box for now, which is fine. And then let's also check here the food while we are here. Well, food comes in different varieties. Like uh, here you see this is medicine, doesn't really count. This one is under the, if you see the tooltip, it says meat, max HP plus 100, water consumption speed minus 20 for 10 minutes, satiety plus 40 and hydration plus 40, but the category is meat. This one is category staple food. This one is category meat as well, meat as well, staple food, but there will be some at some point which uh, go under, this one goes under fruit and vegetables, for example, staple food. Tortilla staple food, quinoa staple food, uh, fruit and vegetable. I think there is uh, like six categories. Yeah, beverage is also one. There is also recreational. So each of this type of food gives you a buff and you can buy all different types of buffs. So you could, for example, eat, um, drink some broth, which falls under meat. It will give you the bonus mentioned there. You could add staple food to that, which gives you these boosts in, boosts in addition. And then you could go to the mushroom soup, which is fruit and vegetables, which give you the additional buff. And then also, for example, go to the hot cocoa, which will give you the beverage buff as well. What doesn't work is this beverage buff and this beverage buff. That won't, won't work. One will be replacing the other. But I will show you that once we once we get there, actually. Is there anything I can make? I could make eggs, but do I need that? No, broth, broth I will need at some point. Because this is what is used to actually um, convince people to join your uh, clan. So you will knock them down, you bring their health down to about 30%, and uh, then you can deter them, which will bring them in, uh, in a coma stasis and then you need to feed them liquid food in order for them to wake up and be able to join you so i will be making this uh, seven for now because that's all i can make and as you can see i will need bowl for that and the bowl is then made in the potting station but i don't have the potting station set up yet so this is meat this is staple food could be interesting uh, and consume set max site yeah okay this consume HP okay cooked meat is also bonus to XP for five minutes roasted potatoes is like for 10 minutes already okay that's better so I will see what I can do with this and uh, make some stuff and use that this is for 20 minutes so this is already a nice one so let's do this and place seven on there as well seven then I also, wait, I have now staple food. The meat is for uh, the people I will be trying to convince to join me. Staple food I have. I have a lot of cooked meat already, but this only gives the best for five minutes. This gives the best for 10 minutes, so that might be even better. And the roasted potatoes is also staple food. Okay. For 10 minutes, this is for 20 minutes. See, it's double. This one is double than this one. So you need to check which buffs you can use and, and whatnot. So these, I, I have, uh, I have this meat on me. 50 HP. Yeah, I will keep this one for now. So appoint a caretaker, so he will do the work. Apparently, Blade Master is the better cook. And what I can do next is also go here and decide that this one needs to make some meat out of the, the, the carcasses we brought in. So let's say 10 here, that will be 100 meat in total, which is also the Blade Master, which should be doing that. So Blade Master will have a lot of work. And then I think I will need bone at some point. So let's make a set of 10 of those as well. And then Beast Hide for the leather, I will need that too. 10 and that's about it for now so yeah a lot of work has to be done and once they have done all the work they will be generating or creating all of these no caretaker oh caretaker is busy okay because blade master needs to be a leather worker cook and armor craft for now that's why we need more people so i think 
probably the next time we will be heading out and actually try to convince some people to join our clan probably go to the barracks if I can get some uh, nice armor on my uh, clans member we will bring them along and see what happens Anyway, this will be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have comments, ideas or suggestions or even questions, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, helps with you with the YouTube algorithm and maybe I could make some videos about that as well. And yeah, in the meantime, uh, maybe throw me a like, throw me a little subscribe. And uh, until next time, people have fun, stay safe and goodbye. <laughs>